We have our local leadership from Maine, Marcy and Josh. Do you want to introduce yourself and we'll follow your lead is what we'll do. I'll be quiet. Go ahead, Josh. Um, yeah, hello, everybody. Um, my name is Josh Kaupala. I use they, them pronouns. Um, I'm up in uh, Bangor. Um, I am one of the uh, co-chairs of the Maine Poor People's Campaign, and um, we have a little bit of a slideshow, uh, but uh, before, before that, I'll just say a word or two about myself. Um, you know, I uh, got it connected with the campaign about three, over three years ago, uh, when the Truth and Poverty Tour was coming through. Um, you know, was asked to, to share my story and, and testify um, and got got really connected to the the um, the movement, uh, just the spirit of the movement, the songs, the 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 the, the, the breadth of stories. Um, and and from that initial interaction um, with the campaign, um, you know, I got connected to some other uh, state events and then eventually more nat national events um, and um, have stuck around um, and, and uh, moved into uh, and, and um, become uh, one of the tri-chairs uh, two years ago. Um, and for me, what keeps me coming back and keeps me uh, mobilized and excited to, to do this work with you all today and, and with my community on a regular basis um, is the fact that there is just so much despair out there in the world right now. Um, and with, with um, so many interlocking injustices, um, uh, uh, flexing their, their, their muscles in our, in our lives, um, poor people and uh, people who have been um, pushed to the margins by these systems, um, banding together, listening to each other, um, reminding themselves that these problems are systemic and not individual, and then building the power and the connections to, to really shift the atmosphere, um, both in those spaces and in the, the cities and states where, where we um, can push, um, has been something that, that has been able to keep my head above water through all of the difficulty, the poverty, the switching jobs, the lack of um, reliable healthcare and, and all these other things. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my, my brief little introduction and, and Marcy, if you want to introduce yourself sure. and we can move. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Josh. Um, so, uh, my name is Marcy Mackinnon. I use she or her pronouns and, um, I actually got into the campaign in 2018. I um, actually in early I got and I got in through my church. I go to the Unitarian Universalist Church on Congress Street here in Portland, and um, the camp the national campaign is hundreds of um, partner organizations and unions and um, churches from lots of different denominations and um, non church, you know. Um, all kinds of religious entities, basically. So, so the the UU Church has has a partnership, and um, I got in that way. We actually joined a book group at my church where we we were reading the Third Reconstruction um, by one of the co-founders of the Poor People's Campaign, Reverend William Barber. And um, later on, I discovered that there was a movement associated with the book, with, with the tenants that were, that were laid out in the book and the history. And I had no idea. And I was um, very excited because I had never heard the intersectionality that Liz spoke of, the interlocking injustices of um, ha having a narrative where all those were woven together and, and where they were all being addressed at the same time. And um, so I was in um, the, the campaign kicked off um, simultaneously across the nation on um, May 14th in, on 2018. And um, so I was involved in, in the first action that took place up at the Augusta State House. And um, I have stayed in the campaign because um, it is, uh, it's very healing for me 
Um, I would say at the time when I when I came to church, it was it was shortly after a, a very memorable election that we had in 2016. And um, Josh mentioned despair. And um, one of the ways that I deal with despair is is having to having a place to do something about it and to have a campaign. I, and I as as an individual with multiple identities in terms of race and and sexuality and other ways of thinking, I I have felt very fragmented in different groups that I have organized in in the past. And so for me, um, being a part of the Poor People's Campaign has been um, healing and um, it has made me feel whole, like all of myself can come here with all of my concerns. So um, yeah, that's how I got here. And I can't imagine leaving it. My life wouldn't feel right doing something. And there's a place for everyone here in this campaign. And we're excited to show you a video of um, uh, things that, that Portland is, that Maine has been involved in. Um, many of our engagements are, are um, initiated by ourselves as a state campaign. Um, based on different issues that we've gotten involved in, but also we get a lot of direction from national because the idea is to nationalize. No one's issue is really that personal. Um, most issues that happen in different states are also happening in other states. And, um, and our power is in joining together and, and being united and having each other's back. And so um, some of the first, some of the activities that, that you'll see are, um, movements, uh, actions that are happening simultaneously across the country and other states, and some of them are just me. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video and we'll talk about it after. Great, and Josh, while you're lining up the video, is the link in the chat, the link that John can follow to find out where to get the buses? The one that I just dropped in, yes. Uh, it, that's the link for the buses. Um, and the link before that is to just register for the event. So Great. yes, rally.co slash poor people's assembly with dashes slash from slash main. Um, and we'll make sure that's in the comments um, of this video as well. So, all right, um, I will now share my screen. Looking good.
We are a new. That was a lot. <laughs> there sure were a lot of main scenes in there. Um, before we go into the next section, are there um, any clarifying? Do you want to make any comments or observations? Well, I'll just add that, uh, yeah, those that was uh, uh, quite a, a menagerie of images, of actions, of uh, four years of actions here in Maine, uh, from state house um, launches to uh, truth and poverty tours that visited multiple states throughout or multiple places throughout the the state, um, to more recent uh, 
uh, calls to action around the Build Back Better plan and um, other, um, you know, the 14 priorities, um, getting our demands in front of the State House uh, in last uh, a year ago, uh, this last month, uh, this uh, or a year ago in March, and um, yeah. So I guess uh, just highlighting that uh, you know we've. Um, yeah, been mobilizing and getting. Uh, you notice a lot of the the speakers are there. Uh, those folks are are impacted individuals, low wage workers, mothers um, in in subsidized housing, um, uh, queer folks, uh, straight folks. Uh, you know, uh, Christians, non Christians, atheists, um, all all building power together um, and creating a moral fusion movement. Um, yeah, one one mobilization, one uh, connection, one um, yeah, uh, power building moment at a time. Great, Marcy. Um, uh, let's see. Just that it was a variety of of scenes, all that which lift up the different um, the issues. Being one of them was at a customs and border patrol um, action, which lifts is lifting up militarism and racism and just uh, othering in general, um, because that was around the time that um, immigrants were being detained and children were being separated from their families. And um, and then it ranged to one of the, the state house, one in the beginning was around uh, Medicaid expansion back when um, LePage was in office. And then um, at Golden and Collins office for, for national issues. So we really um, speak to a number of issues and um, have impacted leaders um, with the microphone, letting us know uh, what the truth is from, from their experience. Great. So yeah. and how to get in touch with you? I see your phone number is right there. Yes, my phone number is on the thing. If you have questions about, um, if you want me to help you sign up to get on a bus, if you need assistance with maybe some financial assistance to ride the bus, if you perhaps can't make it, but would like to make a donation. Um, if you wanna just call and talk and see how your special gift or skill might be able to be um, uh, helpful to the campaign or um, anything like that. We love a conversation. And Fantastic. about to be in touch. And if you'd like us to come to your place and talk about what we do, we have lots of materials that we can share that as well. But we have we have room for hundreds on the bus. <laughs>